I'm Debbie Brooks. I'm co-founder and executive vice chairman of the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. You know, when you're building something, you really have to um, be both micro and macro at the same time. Um, it's you. You know, you really have to be a multitasker. I mean, um, I think of in. You know, I, I like to think of the difference between an entrepreneur and an inventor. And one of the things I try to think: what are the differences about those people, even in terms of personality? And while this always doesn't hold, it often holds. That inventors tend to be tinkerers. You know, they're kind of brilliant folks who kind of go after one concept and then they have this aha moment. Entrepreneurs are people who. Um, kind of carry an idea and like a wave and they just you know they they figure out how to navigate and they just bring it to its um, its moment and and then they keep nurturing it and growing it and and to me the 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 entrepreneur is a much more of a um, they're both problem solvers but I think the entrepreneur is much more of a multitasker and so um, I look for I think that means someone has to have a certain kind of pace about them um, they have to really um, you can either say they have to be terrible at boundaries between their personal life and their work life or they have to be excellent at it you know it just really depends on how you want to describe that um, you have to be a, a, a learner, um, you have to have a risk tolerance, um, but more than the risk tolerance, you have to have this kind of resilience in you because you're going to run into challenges, you're going to uh, miss your mark, uh, you have to really figure out how to learn from that. For me, I'm I find that I've already, um, I'm halfway through executing something before I've already figured out three things that I would have changed if I was starting over now. And I'm already incorporating that change in my kind of first execution. It's a, I'm so fluid when it comes to um, looking at a challenge, uh, thinking about addressing that challenge and executing that idea that it's almost hard to kind of point at certain moments and say ah that was a mistake and that was how I addressed it I mean I'm really always kind of um, moving through uh, challenges and ideas in a way that it almost I'm, I'm constantly um, rethinking um, which can get a little exhausting but it's exhilarating and I think you want to entrepreneurs are good and, and founders I hope are good at at finding people who thrive in those kind of environments. I mean, it's not just about finding smart, and capable people, that's a given, but they have to really have a lot of um, tolerance for lack of structure and for, um, uh, you know, the fact that there's not always going to be a plan. I mean, 12 years into it, Fox Foundation really doesn't kind of have what I would call classic strategic planning and yet we're one of the most strategic organizations I know we're highly productive you know and so and it's not that we don't understand um, at, at the core what strategic planning is about it's just we don't have the luxury of spending that much time and that and, and yet the discipline of what strategic thinking is about is in our actions every day so there's something about um, how we've been doing it that 12 years into it, it still feels like a startup. And it, it actually still is a startup. I mean, we haven't, we don't have one challenge that we've tackled and now we're kind of just humming. Um, very little of what we do is kind of maintenance business. And in, in fact, every year we debate this when we're setting goals for the organization for the next year. We almost never tend to the fact that we have all this other stuff, you know, going. How are we thinking about that business? And um, and it just I think it's a reflection of the fact that we're always looking ahead, which has its downside. But for the most part, there's something about um, uh, understanding that you have a place that you're trying to get to, and you may not get there in one step. And so, how are you going to piece together the many steps that it takes um, to achieve a goal? And breaking down that goal into very manageable um, parts, I think, is part of how we've uh, gone after it.